The Sleeping Beauty Fairy Tale, also called Little Briar Rose or Dawn Röschen in German and La Belle au Bois Dormant in French, is a seemingly innocent tale for children by the German Grimm brothers from the 19th century in 1812. Grimm brothers were Freemasons and the word Grimm in German means Grimm in English as in wrath. How charming the Grimm Freemasons and the pharaonic Freemason fairy tale where the word fairy tale comes from pharaoh tale. As all these seemingly innocent tales are ancient tales of the royal pharaohocracy, they are important for the Freemasons. The original German title Don Röschen means the thorn of the little rose, a rose as in Rosicrucians, the order of the rose and another symbol of the English pharaohocracy, still worn on the shirts of the national English rugby team. I remind you that rugger still is the game of the elite and the aristocracy, played at boarding schools, offices, academies and elite universities, where soccer is for the masses. The elite with their roses on their rugby shirts even say that soccer is a gentleman's sport played by crooks, but rugger is a crook sport played by gentlemen. The thirteen wise women in this pharaoh tale, uh, Sleeping Beauty, represent Osiris being butchered into thirteen parts, and these thirteen wise women being the sisters of Isis, and you don't want to know who the prince is, who kisses her awake after a hundred years of sleep into the awakening enlightenment. You just don't want to know, and neither does your child, whom you're telling the story to. It's the Prince of Darkness who initiates a still sleeping young girl, usually at the birth of a child or symbolical Horus, where the covenant with Seton or Satan is being sealed with the kiss of death. This is similar to the Freemason ritual where he or she has to symbolically die first to become illuminated into the light of the Illuminati. This is why the American flag has 13 stripes. So every time you hear the number 13, you know Osiris is in the game, together with the Horus Matrix. And it was in fact the 13th witch who cast a spell on the girl, because the 13th part of Osiris, as in witchcraft, couldn't be found anymore. So they replaced it with an obelisk, the phallic symbol of the pharaonic domination, carved on top for symbolizing the circumcision for the slaves, an important part of the covenant with evil, because it mutilates the creation by the divine. So the twelve plates that Sleeping Beauty puts on the table only represent the twelve body parts of Osiris that could be found, and the thirteenth plate she didn't put on the table, giving grim and wrath to the thirteenth witch, that missing 13th plate represents Osiris, his missing and circumcised genitals, as in fact only a part of it was missing. I'm not a religious person, but here in the Bible, chapter 29 and chapter 30, it says a lot of interesting things of how the pharaohs are scattered all, all over the earth and rule over all nations. Like here it says, and I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations and scatter them through the countries. They're everywhere. And they're hiding in their bays in the mountains, in the Swiss mountains. So ancient Egypt was destroyed by Babylon. And uh, so that's why they came to Europe and uh, made Switzerland, the Swiss Alps to their bays, terrorizing the rest of Europe. Yeah, here too, it's, it says how they rule over other nations and how they stand above other nations, you know, uh, they feel they, are, they, they think they are more, you know, like, like the Swiss superior race, for instance. You know. Interesting. Well, I'm not religious, but it's quite interesting. And, well, 
I know that this part is true. The pharaohs are ruling. And all these innocent stories, they are in fact pharaoh tales. The pharaoh tales. Don't tell them to your children. The pharaohs rule and even the seemingly innocent pharaoh tales are theirs and being revived by the masons. All these stories about princes and princesses of the fair aristocracy. Don't tell these stories to your children because they will never become a princess but will only be trapped by the Prince of Darkness, just as Polanski promising little girls to become Hollywood's next princess and take some pictures for the next queen of all models, only for the trap to close down on the wannabe sleeping beauty and the Prince of Darkness moves in for his final move.